held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah, just holding this thing makes me feel better. Episode 4 of Telltale's The Walking Dead finished with a large cliffhanger. Now we have to wait until the finale, but until then, let's predict what will happen in episode 5 from uh, the gallows. I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball no, player? we've had moments. You and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all but before whatever happens tomorrow happens i need you to know whatever this thing before the finale of episode four kate asked javier whether he had feelings for her and regardless and if he chose to reject or accept her affection one thing is certain gabe is in the back listening we've seen that gabe is loyal to gabe and will put his and everyone else's lives on the line to save him we also saw that really Gabe will quickly like betray know. Javier as he did during the crazy. apartment section of the episode. It's likely chance. that Gabe will tell David about what he heard sorry, and judging Gabe. from David's past oh. actions when dealing with anger will attack God. Javier regardless of what just the player chose. Can't see it between us. So all those times you said stuff, I was just imagining it. Years together on the road. The looks the hints of something more. David's not just some guy in our lives. He's my brother. I don't see him being okay with this, ever. And I kill him, I swear I will. Go ahead and shoot then, I warned you. Stop a second and think about this. I'm done thinking. Ava was the best soldier I ever met. She didn't deserve this. <laughs> It's likely that Javier will become the new leader of the New Frontier. The community is now fractured due to destroyed leadership and now walkers flooding the streets. With Javier now unable to leave and caught in the middle of the civil war, the people will look for a new leader. We can also infer this from the cover art from the episode, from the gallows, from the episode selection screen. at the McCarroll Ranch, a few miles west of here. He's really alive. Clementine's Don't goal is certain. He wants to find AJ. In afterthought. episode 3, we learned that AJ survived, and in episode 4, it's being monsters. held at a ranch. Why give him to a ranch instead of keeping him yeah. at the New Frontier? Jones we see that children are part of the community, but we also learn that David took responsibility for him. It's likely that David didn't think he had the ability to raise him and decided to give AJ to another group, a family. If this is true, perhaps a new decision will be made whether Clementine decides to leave AJ with the ranch or take him with her. As we've seen in it. the flashbacks, Clementine's vagabond left style hasn't been easy for AJ, and having a set family could prove more useful to AJ's survival. So this could be a very problematic issue. Maybe Javier will also chime in to whether Clementine decides to take oh. him or leave him. Hey. Those are my theories for the finale Hi, of Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 3. What the fuck have, are you doing? have any of your own? She's Let me know me. in the comments below. And as always, stay awesome, everyone. You all good? Yeah. We're all set. Let's roll. Mm. Good to see you.